thing on the table here, you can see some of the different Fox brand um, equipment that you can use. Probably everyone's familiar with most of it. Um, however, they all have their pluses and minuses depending on what you're doing. The smaller sprayer is probably the hardest to calibrate because it doesn't have a consistent flow. The backpacks are probably going to be easier for you, but the easiest is going to be one with a pressure, pressure gauge. This sprayer here has a pressure gauge on it, so that way you'll make sure your stream is going to be constant. If your pressure doesn't stay constant, your droplet sizes are going to uh, change, so you're not going to have a uniform spray pattern. Okay. Um, when we talk about sprayer calibration, why is it important? Do we just want to go out there and willy-nilly throw spray out? How many people like throwing their money away? I don't. Okay, when we do sprayer calibration, we want to do it because it's going to save you money in the long run. Because if you know how much spray you're putting out, then you're not going to put too much spray out. And you also have to stay within the label requirements. If your sprayer is not calibrated, you may be putting more spray out than what the label um, has on it. <laughs> so we have mad squirrels up here. Um, so then you're not going to be within the label rates over time. And also you want to um, increase the forage tolerance to whatever you're spraying. Because even if it says it won't harm your forage, if you put too much spray out, it can harm um, or even kill the forage that you're spraying. Now I'm going to turn it over to Lindsay.